Hello guys, in this short video I will show you a few tricks how to shorten if-else statement for a set of the variable. And this is a simple example of PHP. It's not even Laravel, actually we will talk about PHP operators, but this is a Laravel example with setting meta title with view composers. If you want to know more about that, watch my separate video on view composers. I will link it in the description and at the end of this video. Now, what are we doing here? If the product is set wherever above above that code, we are setting that to meta title. If not, default meta title comes from config. And that's a default simple if else statement. And there are a few ways to shorten it. First, ternary operator. So this line of code. Instead of if else, we're doing is set product and question mark. We're setting that to product else. The value is config. This is pretty convenient if the result of that is set to the variable, so you can do it all in one line, or maybe if you want it more readable, sometimes it makes sense to do it like this, if those variable names or conditions are longer than just a few symbols. But also, another way to shorten it is with double question mark, like this. So, variable meta title equals to product, or default value, fallback value is config. So that's even shorter. And also with that, there's a trick which I found out really recently that you can combine a few possible values. So for example, title may come from product, but if there is no product, there may be category or there may be config. And you can chain however many variables you want, like default title, something like that. And whichever first is actually set to something, that will be the default value set to meta title. So these are just short tips about shortening if else for checking is set of the variable. I have another video in line for you. I have a separate video how to make if else shorter in general with ternary operators and exceptions and all of that. So you can watch that. I will link that in the description below. Also, I advise you to subscribe to the channel. Join 20,000 subscribers currently to receive daily or almost daily Laravel tips. See you guys in other videos.